interesting. And uh, Jessica, what do you do for the company, first of all? I am our media relations associate for Garmin and Aviation. I get news releases from you, don't I? Yep, I'm, all right. the, I'm the writer of those. You're pretty busy lately. I am very busy. And one of the things you've been busy on is the new G3 X Touch. Right. Did I get that right? That's right. Okay. Yep. Tell me a little bit about it. Walk me through some of the basic. Tell me some of the basic features first, Jessica. Sure. And uh, then we'll actually have you start punching things on the screen and show us how nicely this works. Sure. So G3 X Touch has a feature of a 10.6 inch touch screen. Infrared display. Bigger than an iPad. Then. Bigger. Than All that. right. It's much more vibrant too. It also comes with uh, aesthetic vision as standard. So because of the infrared touch screen, it's very responsive. Okay, let me stop here for a second. People know about a capacitance touch screen. I'm right. surprised they know that word even, but right. most people know because they've got one right. in their pocket or in their iPad. Right. This is not that way. No. What's the difference? The difference is it's much more responsive, and I can show you that here in just a little bit. Okay, we'll come back to that then, sure. but I wanted to interrupt on that point. Sure. Please go ahead. Sure. So one of the cool features that comes with G3X Touch is that it offers a full screen display with a, with a moving map inset, and then also you can see the video inset down here with the verb action camera mounted on the top of the display. And the only thing wrong with that is it's got me leaning into it, but other than that, it's pretty good. How about we get that guy over there? There you go. Smile! <laughs> so, you, now, you don't have to have these up all the time. You've no, got a lot of options all. about how to change them. No, you have a lot of options. Show me how I get rid of that. To get rid of that, you can go into split screen mode. Oh, okay. For example, bring a, almost like a PFD and an MFD up, and you still retain your EIS information as well. Coming back to that infrared touch screen, look how responsive it is, even on the sectional page. Wow. Zoom in. With this knob, you can also zoom out, pitch to zoom on the moving mat display. So you can still maintain the dedicated soft key function along the bottom. And we still, just like our other Garmin products, we have nearest, direct to, menu, back, and then two rotary knobs. So sort of the buttons you would want to get to the fastest right. in a situation where maybe you clutch and go, I forgot how the touch screen part works, like that's even sure. possible, but if you did, you still got a nearest button right, right away yep. and a direct button, which you use all the time. Exactly. Yep. If you don't want the sectional display, you can move to a moving map page. Okay. Pretty, pretty standard. And in all cases, these are geolocated, are they? So you're seeing where you are yep. on that as well? Yep. They're all georeferenced, and so are our approach charts on here as well. Okay. You, can you show me an approach chart? Uh, Testing your knowledge here. There we go. <laughs> she did it right away. And that also spreads, does it? Uh, you can actually zoom in. Ah, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Now, above that, you had uh, the screen that just showed above it. it had a bar that showed me what uh, approach plate that was or what sectional it the airport, was. Sure. Okay. And then you can find out your airport information. Oh, so it just describes it for you right away. You That's don't have right. to remember the four-letter code. That's right. So you're always going to know, and if you want to find frequency information, for example. Beautiful. Then you can transfer up here. And that goes standby. right up to here, which right. then talks to the radio. That's right. Excellent. Okay, great. So show me some more features that the uh, that the unit can do, Jessica. So what's really cool, one of my favorite features, okay. again, we have these map insets. One of the cool features, you can actually touch the inset to go into split screen ah, mode. And okay. then you can also, with the verb action camera, start and stop video. And then also Oh, you can control the video camera through this as well. Though. Absolutely. Beautiful. And so if we touch it, we'll get a little time stamp down here. <laughs> Shortly. <laughs> And then where does that store to and what could I do with that later? So there's a micro SD card built into Verb. Okay. And that, that micro SD card retains that video and so you can transfer it over to your computer and use our Verb edit software program to capture your video and share it with your friends and family. You guys have been busy lately. Yeah. How much does this hold, the Verb? We're talking about the G3X folks, but <laughs> Verb is part of that obviously because right. there it is on the screen. So how much memory does that have in it? Memory, you can put up to a 64 um, gig micro SD card in there. Okay, and that's going to hold like it hours. It holds quite right? a bit, right? Yeah. And it has a three hour battery life. Which yeah, is three really hours. Exciting. So, really, it's about three hours and then you're done recording right, for the day. Right. Okay, great. Okay, good stuff. What other tricks can you show us on the device? We go into full screen mode here. You can also have full autopilot control functionality from the touch screen. And where did you touch to get there? Sure, back here. Okay. This autopilot control panel. Ah, uh, okay, the little blue panel that I saw. Right, okay. right. That's just autopilot. But if you still want to maintain autopilot control from a dedicated panel with our GMC 305, you can still use this as well. Okay, now, when you, when, if I said, okay, great. 
give me one. Do I have to have this, or no. is this an option and this gives me hard buttons, or yeah. what do you call these? They're yep, dedicated buttons. Dedicated buttons, yep. okay, that's your term. And so, in case I'm bouncing around in turbulence, I can always refer sure. to that then. Absolutely. Okay. But the, touch but the device is uh, intact by itself. Yeah. It has all of its features without having one of these. Yep, it has full autopilot control functionality, including, even including a level mode, okay. so heading nav mode. And then uh, use the autopilot to command altitude select or vertical speed climbs and descents. So. Well, that's pretty easy. Now, when you go, let's go back and look at the map again. So I'm flying along is where I'm going, and uh, we put a we pull a map up on the screen. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So I'm flying along. Let me see the section testing you here a little bit. Okay, so now I want to get it bigger. I can get it bigger very easily. I'm working it now. There's no magic fingers on Jessica. Everybody's <laughs> fingers work. And I want to see something about that particular airport. If I touch that, am I going to get... Okay. Now, if I touch this one, am I going to get... Uh, all that frequency stuff. That's yes. beautiful. So it's very intuitive, and if you're familiar with some of our other Garmin products, you're going to find the functionality of G-Track Touch is very similar. So basically, it's still a Garmin, but yep. but but a new Garmin yep. with new features and capabilities. Absolutely. Now you've also got some good price points on this, and I know that varies in a lot of ways. But get us, and, and these videos can last a long time on the web too. So folks, remember you need to check the latest information. But today. You've come down in price of these a lot from when they first came out, when these glass panels first came out, certainly. Right. What kind of money are we talking about to get into a basic pack? For a single display, which would include synthetic vision, your GPS antennas, the moving map capability, $5,499. That's all the bits and pieces needed? Yeah. Okay, yeah. not just the screen. And then with EIS, $6,099. Okay, with the uh, with all the engine instrument information. Yeah, and then okay. you notice when you touch... That includes all the senders and all the other things that you need to make this function. Right. Okay, great. So you were going to say? I was going to say, you notice when you touch the EIS panel, you got more, you know, more information about... Oh, okay. Okay, I've got extra tabs like up that, on top yeah. then, so I can get more. Right. Very good. Anything else you'd like to show me on the device? I don't know. Did we cover it all? I think we, we got the high point. <laughs> well, the beautiful part about that is somebody in the Cub Crafters organization said, we think we lost the manual and we don't care. Yep, exactly. Because it's that easy to use. So nice job. Uh, that's some information, but you folks have a lot of products for aviation. We appreciate that support. Where else do we go on the web, Jessica, to get lots more information about Garmin? You can go to Garmin.com and specific to the Pura Metal Market, Garmin.com slash Pura Metal. Okay, great. We'll put that up on the screen. I've got a lot of stuff about Garmin, the use of the products, and much more about airplanes on ByDanJohnson.com or BYDanJohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining Jessica and me here at Summit Fun. Yeah, thank you. All right. Thanks a lot. You did great.